Imagine a grapefruit. Now, the French for grapefruit is pomplemousse. Imagine a pomplemousse. Okay, now, be honest, which of those two grapefruits is the pinker? I bet it's the pomplemousse. You know what I mean? Words affect what you see in your head. What if God is from here? Chile. Mm. Or is that the Galapagos Islands? Maybe God is a tortoise. Oh, there's the Galapagos Islands, but I was close, wasn't I? I paid attention in geography. We had a geography teacher who, to convey the true nature of places, he would say, uh, today, and funnily enough, Chile, he said, the Atacama Desert, it's vast, it's vast. And he would get a, a, a stick of chalk and he would walk right across the board drawing this vast, 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 and he would go right off the frame of the blackboard. We're all gonna die, basically. It's a painting of a wasp. If you had a real wasp in your house, which was, what, two feet long, you'd feel extremely uncomfortable, I think. I'd be terrified. You get a real sense of the delicacy of the wings and maybe, I don't know, the ephemeral nature of the wasp. Not technically ephemeral, which just means living for one day. I know there's going to be some pedants out there uh, who are going to pick me up on the fact that it's not an ephemera. It probably lives, I don't know, I don't know how long does a wasp, how long does a wasp live? You've got all possible future past and present wasps represented in the yellow and the transient nature of the individual implied by the way that the yellow shines through. I love the way you stare at them and the portraits gradually reveal more and more of themselves. And you look at um, his son Jake in this one and as you stare at it more and more you get a real sense of what's going on inside his head. Not that you're clear on what that is but the sense of activity and emotional condition. There's an intensity to it that gradually comes out of the, the murk. The more I look at it, I don't really know entirely what to make of it, but I get the strong feeling that he's a Sheffield Wednesday fan.